welcome to Conversion Conversations. This is Cameron, and today I am taking a look at Transformers Takara Tomy's Generation Selects Star Convoy. And uh, I did a quick unboxing, and I think that video hopefully went up last Sunday. Um, but this is a more detailed review because I was curious about what the difference is between Star Convoy and the mold it's based off of Power of the Prime's uh, leader Optimus Prime are. Um, in alt mode, it's kind of hard to tell what the differences are. As far as I could tell, looking at pictures, uh, our cab is almost entirely the same. The uh, difference might be just the head that you see peeking out back there. Um, the legs uh, in robot mode are different, which results in a more angular, less uh, curved legs in alt mode, or, or rear hitch of the truck in alt mode. But the transformation scheme is the same. Uh, basically, if you didn't like Power of the Primes, Optimus Prime, you saw potential, but there are things you don't like about this mold. Um, Star Convoy does not fix any of that. Rather, um, it just provides essentially an alternate character take on very much the same toy. Um, aside from that, the trailer, uh, which we'll notice is pretty plain, they did give us a sticker set. Um, so there's, let's turn it this way. There's four stickers that we can put on the trailer, but honestly, I, I don't think I'm gonna bother with these. I'm just gonna wait, like I could do here, left one, left two, and then left three and left four. Um, would go on this side and then the others would go on the right side. I'm just gonna wait and see if Toy Hacks does a sticker set because I think I just prefer that. Uh, a lot more toy detailing um, onto Star Convoy. Uh, but like I said, um, besides being a little plainer just as a result of the stickers and some minor details like the insignia we see here, uh, the gun is obviously different, it's a two-parter. Um, some details that we normally don't see um, it's very much the same toy in alt mode. It rolls just fine. Um, and we've got essentially a deluxe class figure that fits into a larger leader body. The other thing I did check, um, I'll just show in the instructions here, um, there is no base mode. I, I double checked that because we had received leader class figures um, with base modes in the past, and I know Star Convoy had a base mode. Um, he doesn't have anything like that. Um, so let's go ahead and get into transformation. It is very similar to the previous Power of the Primes leader, uh, Optimus Prime, so I'm going to be pretty quick through it because I have a previous video showing that transformation in detail. To start out, we're going to untab the uh, hands from the back, uh, I guess, forward part of the hitch. And this is an interesting change. There, uh, his Optimus Prime's ears are tabbed into slots in his legs, so we want to carefully lift that out so we don't risk bending or damaging those ears. They go in, in these slots uh, back here. Now that those are separate, we can come in and just like before, on uh, Power of the Prime's leader Optimus Prime, both of these front wheels flip up, which allows us to extend out on uh, these double extending blue hinges. Uh, those forward sections of his, or the side sections become the new forward section of the car mode. Now we can come in and we can take his shoulders and flip those around, giving us arms that we can rotate 360, or I guess 180 and flip out the hands. There we go. Now that that's all done, we can come in and tilt up his head, close his chest piece, and there is a tab that locks in. Uh, let me try that one more time on camera. There is a tab that locks in the platform that his head sits on, his kind of neck platform, uh, into his, I guess, upper shoulders. Flip down his legs. Go ahead and pop this up a little bit. Come in and flip around his legs and flip out feet, which I think is new. I don't believe the previous Power of the Prime leader, uh, Optimus Prime, his small robot mode had flip out feet. 
I don't remember though. I, I did have that figure, but I gave it away um, as part of my charity fundraiser. So here we have the Deluxe Optimus Prime, which is, I think, a pretty decent looking Optimus Prime. Um, he was previously an Orion Pax, and I really liked that like curved or more organic looking Orion Pax mold. But I also like this kind of sleek, felt, uh, boxy Optimus Prime. In terms of articulation, it's all the same. The head goes 360. It can also go up and down. Arms, the shoulders go 360. They can go in and out. Uh, 90, oop, came right off that ball joint. There we go. Uh, on both sides there, just a tad loose. Uh, bicep swivel, double jointed elbow due to transformation, no rotation in the wrist. Um, I thought that Orion Pax on the previous mold had a waist swivel. Um, Optimus Prime here does not, and I'm wondering if I'm just misremembering. If you have that leader Optimus Prime, let me know, because I, I don't see how we could have fit it in with the transformation. We do get a big forward swing and on the legs, a back swing that is impeded by his, uh, his, his back kibble, just as a result of what he can transform into in, in leader mode. Um, deep 90 degree thigh bend. And uh, that's it. We got some toe tilt on uh, on his feet, um, but no ankle swivel, which I'm a little bummed out by, but it, I remember that I don't think the original toy had it either. What I'm just remembering is a result of, or what I'm misremembering is a result of how great the uh, Siege line has been about ankle articulation in every figure. So, I mean, we've got a great little Optimus Prime figure here. We can, if we want to come in on his trailer, open it up. Uh, he can, you know, hold the Matrix if we want him to. It doesn't really have a place to go in on his chest just as a result of the way he transforms into a larger robot, but he can hold that Matrix. He can also hold his guns separately or together. His traditional ion blaster, ion cannon, um, he's got that bad boy. So yeah, like a, just like previously, a great deluxe figure. Um, the difference is a matter of taste. Do you want that cool organic Orion Pax um, that, you know, is a, a little less maybe heroic and svelte in his profile? I mean, this guy can get into a really great super robot pose. Um, but if you prefer the Orion Pax turning out into Optimus Prime, or do you want, you know, Optimus Prime turning into Star Convoy? So now we're going to set Optimus Prime aside and get into this trailer. Like I said previously, again, the toy is very much the same. Um, the transformation is also the same. Now that there aren't stickers on it, I'm a little, I can be a little less careful about transforming it, which is kind of nice. Flip out these panels on both sides. That helps separate his arms from his chest and legs. Now we can come in and flip out uh, these panels on the top of his trailer, flipping everything out and away. And you can see kind of his feet that we can extend all the way and his arms, which we can rotate and get those out of the way. And there's essentially, right, that's the Star Convoy body. We're gonna go ahead and lift things up just a wee bit more. Um, that will just kind of clean up and fill out for the rest of the transformation. Starting at the legs, uh, these panels all collapse nicely into a set of 90 degree rotations and everything comes into a final locking uh, mechanism whereby this tab right here, oops, sorry, uh, tabs into a slot on the inside of his leg like that forming a solid calf which I like a lot that's one of the, my favorite things about this mold I think flip things around how it all locks into place and it's all very satisfying um, so I'm glad I've got this toy this mold in my collection again and as a character that I just didn't have before now we can come in on his uh, arms the arm panels fold in 90 degrees again just like so, these panels fold back, and then we can flip the arms 90 degrees, giving us our insignia in the right direction. Flip the arms down, and his 
shoulder cannons come down and they lock into place as well. There we go. Same thing on this side. Flip, turn 90, come that, bring that down, and we got cool shoulder cannons. Uh, then we've got his Star Convoy Crest, which we're going to bring down. And it's on a double hinge in his uh, abdomen. So once we bring it down, we're going to bring that double hinge forward, which gives us the clearance we need to bring that convoy crest out. And it might be a little hard to see, but um, it is vacuum. Uh, I, I forget what it's called, but it's got the metallic vacuum uh, process on it to give it the golden look. My metallic crest is already wearing, which is unfortunate. Um, so I, I'm seeing a little silver underneath the gold chrome, but there is the Star Convoy body. And let's get Optimus Prime ready to form the chest piece. All we really do is fold out his uh, chest and head, flip up Star Convoy's head, get him a big old head, flip that back in, and now we can see kind of the Star Convoy head and chest flip in his arms, get those out of the way. His legs come in and the tabs uh, on the back of his legs have slots on his Optimus Prime chest that they slide right into. Same thing on this side. Now we can flip in his toes, giving him kind of a less prominent backpack. And I believe, well, I'm trying to remember if I did anything else with the arms, but I don't think we do. Uh, like that. All right. Now we're good. Now we can come in. We take the, uh, the pin that goes into his trailer hitch, flip that in, and we just press this chest piece into his body until we hear the locking click. Which is less prominent, I don't know if there's something I did, no. But the, the locking click, I don't get as strong a lock as I did with Power of the Primes Optimus Prime, which is unfortunate. Um, the legs come undone because they are a little loose, which is also unfortunate. Because this is new molding, I was surprised how loose the leg joints on uh, Optimus Prime's body are, and we'll see on uh, Star Convoy's body. And then now that the chest is in place, even if we don't get our audible click, we can take our crest, which has a tab here. There's a slot there that fits right in. Let's see if we can get the, there we go. That locks in at least. And now we've got Star Convoy and he looks pretty awesome. I do like this take on Star Convoy. I've never owned the toy before. The only other thing to do is to give him his matrix gun uh, which the Matrix and gun pieces fit together just fine. Um, yeah, Star Convoy looks awesome. I love the detail that we get on that headpiece. I love his new chest piece, how um, it incorporates the things I like about the Power of the Primes Leader Optimus Prime. I like these legs. Um, my only issue with the legs is that this forward and back hinge on both of his feet is loose. So you can see if, if you're not balancing him properly, he will, oh, oh, maybe he's fine. There it is. He'll lean back. Um, so you got to make sure that you've got him forward enough. I love the black crotch. Um, just that like a little bit of black into all that red really makes him pop. Um, yeah, all around just a solid leader class figure. I think it's a little pricey. Uh, some of the quality stuff is unfortunate for the amount you pay for him because I think I paid $65 for him, so it's an extra $15. Um, but he is one of those Generation Selects figures and I'm glad we got him in hand. To kind of compare him to my other Optimus Primes. So here is the Optimus Prime that sits in my collection. Um, as we can see, he is definitely leader class. Um, he sits bigger than the Siege leaders, which is, you know, a cool throwback. Here is R.I.D. 2015 as uh, another example of a Japanese Optimus Prime, um, which, for whatever reason, they've always been a little wonky. Um, they do unique things and they have, like, deep cut references. Um, but, yeah, the two Optimus Primes together. And, like I said, that black color scheme instead of blue, I really, really like. 
Um, but yeah, that is Takara's Generation Selects 01 uh, Star Convoy. I think he's a great figure. Um, I would only really recommend him to the deeper, the, the collectors that like deep cuts in their collections, or if you never own the Power of the Prime Optimus Prime, um, if you want to check out that toy while owning a character that's not strictly a traditional Optimus Prime, uh, this guy, you know, is awesome. Uh, if you haven't seen his articulation, the head waggles and tilts and goes 360. His shoulder cannons go up and down and rotate 360 and 90 on the, the arms. A deep bicep cut, not quite double jointed. Um, not a fully uh, articulated hip, unfortunately, but it goes further back now. Deep 90 degree, little more than 90 degree cut on the leg. And then we do have ankle tilt, um, but it is loose. This does remind me that like the siege leaders are more articulated than old leaders used to be. Um, so it's a cool mix of a throwback and a deep cut. Uh, easy recommendation to um, the collectors out there that want more obscure characters in their collection or haven't checked out Power of the Primes Optimus Prime before. Um, other than that, you know, maybe it's a little pricey. You can probably pick up a Power of the Primes Leader Optimus Prime for half the price of what you pay for this if you want to check that out uh, and you haven't yet. I definitely recommend that. Um, that's it for me today. Uh, if you've signed up for the giveaway for crosshairs uh, right now if this video is coming out when I scheduled it then I'm on vacation so when I get back I'll be doing that giveaway thanks everyone have a great day